I wasn't going to film another video today because I already filmed three. But here we are. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. It's going to be something crazy because what I'm about to show you guys is crazy. I used to be a seller on Whatnot. If you don't know what happened, I'll link a video down below. Don't believe what my haters say. Don't believe them. I show proof in that video of what actually happened. Um, so I no longer sell on Whatnot anymore. Ever since then, I have noticed, well, truthfully, when I was on the app, I knew that it was kind of fucked up. There was some crazy shit going on for sure. But ever since I stopped selling on there, I've noticed crazy fucking things like what I'm about to show you. So there are two co-founders of Whatnot, Grant and Logan. I'm not going to say their last names. That's public knowledge. You can friggin' Google it and find out their last names. Um, but Grant and Logan are the co-founders. We're going to talk about Logan today and his Facebook. And we're going to talk about some posts that he made on his Facebook, which are public. His Facebook account is private for the most part, but the posts that I'm about to show you are public. So these posts are made in 2008. They were not recent. Logan was 19 at the time. I'm like 99% sure he was 19 because I think he's 34 now. And if you do the math, 2008, 19. Okay, so let's look at this post first. It says, Logan, I'm just going to say his first name. Logan is wishing this semester was over. So this is back when on Facebook you would say, um, like your, your status would be, if you hear my kids jumping, they're going to fall through the friggin' ceiling. Um, it was back when you would say like what you were doing, like Vanessa is filming a video right now. You guys remember that? This was like the old days of Facebook. So that one's innocent, right? That was October, 2008. This one is December, 2008. Again, innocent. Logan is fuck. Oh wait, what? <laughs> I thought it said is fucking snowing, but no, Logan is fucking snow. Uh, okay. And then also in December, I feel like the majority of you guys know how Facebook works, but this is on his profile that he posted, not that somebody else posted. So December 26, 2008, it says, Logan got arrested and will be in jail for two years for, I can't say that word because I might get demonetized. Uh, what? What the fuck? What? Let's look at the next post. Also made on December 26, 2008, it said, Logan got arrested and will be in jail for a very long time because he, a 15 year old girl. What? Is that true? Do you have to do a background check and see if that's true? Cause that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy because he was 19 at the time. So, uh, yeah, depending on what state, like age of consent, uh, well, no, does age of consent matter if you're over 18? I don't, I don't know how the fuck that works. I don't know. Um, but like, what? the fuck? Let's go to January 9th of 2009. It says, Logan is caressing a fat woman. What? Again, he was uh, still 19 at this time. Still 19. Now, you know, 19 is, is a teenager. You're legally an adult. I have a 19-year-old son, and he would never post something like that. Like he, he would, he knows better. Obviously there are 19 year olds that don't know better and Logan was clearly one of them. This one's funny from May 27th, 2009. I live in filth, dog hair everywhere. Six people in a little dinky house live with me. Half of whom don't pay rent or clean. Buddy puked in my room twice. I missed my first day of summer school. I hope I get a new fresh start tomorrow. And the rest of his posts were like kind of normal. Um, what I did gather from this is that he very much loves weed like very much loves weed because he posted about how, um, you know, marijuana should be decriminalized. Again, this, this was back in 2010. So this was back when, um, you know, you couldn't openly smoke weed like you can today. Um, and I think he even started his own like weed business too. I'm pretty sure. What is that? He got arrested and will be in jail for a long time because like what, what the fuck? Why is this still up? First of all, he owns a very large company that's worth a lot of fucking money. Why haven't you scrubbed this shit, Logan? Why, why is this still up? And if that's true, if that's true, holy fuck. I can't, like, I wonder if he has any, like, old tweets that are like that. I haven't taken the time to research that. Somebody actually sent this to me, and I'm like, holy shit. And I'm like, is this real? So I had to go on Facebook, and it's real. I don't know if that actually happened. I don't know. Like I said, he was 19 at the time. I feel like you might be able to find those records right? 19 or is it under 21? No, it's under 18, right? You wouldn't be able to find the records. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to take the time to research it. Um, one of you guys probably will and he'll let me know, but that's fucking crazy. That's the co-founder of whatnot. Oh, this is fucking disturbing and hopefully it's not true because it's fucking crazy if it is. If it is, that's your fucking co-founder right there, everyone on whatnot. That's who's running whatnot. Today, I was sent a shit ton of screenshots 
about the like beauty and makeup category on whatnot and the amount of fucking scammers on there. It's going to take me a minute to go through all of this stuff. Like this is, this is proof. I mean, I can name, I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to name a few people that are allegedly selling fake and expired or fake and or expired makeup on whatnot. So this is, this is alleged. Here are some makeup beauty people on whatnot that are allegedly selling, again, fake and or expired makeup, thrifties, SoCal Love, ZT Luxury in Brands for All 2024, E. Danny Levy, E. Danny Levy, I don't know how to say her fucking name. I talked about her in a previous video. Um, so she also sold fake skims. So now people are saying that she's allegedly selling fake um, items like Lummer and expired products. She's like, this is a $14,000 gold mask set and I'll run it for only $300 and people buy it. People are so fucking brainwashed on that app. It is scary and it's sad. It's allegedly makeup and more. Daily refinement, I mean, come on. Makeup wholesale, happy seller. So those are all uh, alleged. Alleged. Like I said, I've got so many fucking screenshots to go through. I will go through that and I will keep you guys updated on the info that I find out. If you guys have had any experiences with those sellers, you can comment down below and let me know. Or if you want to remain anonymous, you can send me a DM on Instagram. Whoever DMs me on Instagram, I just automatically keep you anonymous unless you tell me otherwise. I feel like there's only been like one or two people that have ever told me like, hey, I don't care if you say my name. So yeah, just know that I'll keep you 100% anonymous. I do get that question like, oh, I want to send you stuff, but I don't know if I'll be anonymous. Yes, you will. All right, guys, that is it for this video. As always, Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video.